What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Nerd Corner. Nerd Corner. I'm Lotus Austin Coy, the kid who never, ever knows best. And today, I'm here to talk about Jump Force. Yes, the brand new game that is coming out of Bandai Namco that includes a bunch of different characters from your favorite Shonen Jump titles, such as Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Piece, so on and so forth. A game that I personally got to play at E3 and that I know a lot of people, including myself, are looking forward to. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I wasn't really that gassed on it when it first got announced. Everyone was going crazy. I was like, meh, this looks like JSTARS 2.0. And while the, the game definitely does feel a lot like J-Stars, it feels a lot better than J-Stars. And after getting some hands-on experience with the game, I'm a lot more excited for it. And I'm definitely looking forward to it more now than I was when it originally got announced. Now, with that being said, one of the major questions on everybody's mind is what characters are going to be in this game? Because the roster is always a hot topic of discussion for any game that involves fighting of any kind. Especially a game like this where it's so centric on, you know, including different characters from different anime and manga universes. So today, I'm here to bring you the top 10 characters I personally would like to see in this game. Bear in mind, this is just my opinion. That cannot be stressed enough. These are just characters that I want to see. If you got characters that you would rather see, by all means, feel free to make your own video or even make your list down in the comments down below. I'd love to read and respond to it. I'd like to see what other characters you guys would like to include. But these are just going to be the characters that I personally would like to play as or at least see on the roster in the game. Now, so far, we already have confirmed Goku, Luffy, and Naruto. Those are the, the big main three, right? And we've also got Sasuke, Zoro, and Frieza. Those six were playable in the, uh, the, the, the E3 build of Jump Force, and we've seen them in trailers and, and, and all that good stuff, right? Also, just recently, we got announced that Ichigo, Rukia, and Aizen from Bleach will also be in the game. And your boy's not super knowledgeable on Bleach. I've only ever read the first 24 volumes, which is like all of Soul Society and then like three volumes into the Aronka arc. I don't know a whole lot about Bleach. I know a, a little bit, as much as you can learn from reading 24 volumes. But I'm, I, I, I believe that the versions of uh, Ichigo, Rukia, and Aizen that we're getting are from the, 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 the what is it, the, the, the Blood War arc, if I'm not mistaken. They look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Aizen especially, I'm, I'm feeling the eye patch. It looks kind of wavy. And then Ichigo's swords and shit. I fucks with it, I fucks with it. I'm actually glad to see Ichigo in the game because I know not everyone's the biggest fan of Bleach. I know Bleach has its flaws, but hey, I can appreciate the series for what it's worth. Honestly, I would have liked to see my man Toshio Hitsugaya in the game because uh, even though, like I said, I haven't read that much of Bleach, he is my favorite character from the series. I just, I just think he's cold. No pun intended. All right, it was intended. Get off me. But yeah, <laughs> it's a guy would have been dope to see. But nah, it comes as no surprise that they would pick you know Ichigo, Rukia, and Aizen because those are probably like the three most prominent characters in that series. But enough of all that. Let's get into the top ten characters I want to see in this game. Up first at number ten we have Izuku, Deku, Midoriya. Yes, I think it would be a crying shame if we did not get My Hero Academia characters in this game. Bars. I know I'm not going to be the only one who's actually going to be surprised, shocked, and disappointed if we don't see My Hero Academia characters in this game, and of course if we have those characters, it only makes sense that the MC makes his way onto the roster. Now, the one thing I will say is that we do have My Hero Academia 1's Justice on the way, and I don't know if for some reason they might feel like that game is enough of a representation of My Hero, that My Hero doesn't need to be included in this game, but My Hero is one of the biggest, most popular series in Shonen Jump right now. Everybody loves it. Well, not everybody, but the majority of people love it. It's wildly popular. It's wildly successful, and uh, Izuku is one of the faces of Shonen Jump right now, and I think to not include him in this game would, would be a crime. <laughs> So yeah, I definitely want to see the boy Izuku in this game. Moving on to number 9, we have Katsuki Bakugo. Yes, uh, Mr. Explodo kills himself, because it would not be right to have Izuku and not have Bakugo. Come on, you gotta have them both. It's like having Naruto without Sasuke or vice versa. You can't do that. If one goes, they both go, you feel me? Uh, Bakugo is probably my second favorite character in the series, right behind my third, or he, he's second right behind my first favorite character, who is the third character I'm going to mention on this list in just a moment. But uh, yeah, Bakugo's explosion quirk is, explosion quirk rather, is, is, is really dope and just is another character I just want to see in this game. I don't want to elaborate too much on each one of these characters per se because it, we, we would be here all day if I talked about why I like these characters so much and how I think they can implement you know the different abilities into this game. But yeah, Bakugo, one of my favorite characters of my hero. If my hero is going to be in this game, yeah, I absolutely have to have him. Up next on the list, we have my favorite character in my hero academia. You guys could probably guess who it is because you know I'm an edgelord. You already know my taste in characters and my taste in anime and whatever, which is probably shit in a lot of people's opinion. But hey, that's why it's my opinion and not yours. But we have the boy, Shoto Todoroki. Yes, sir. Half cold, half hot. What? The most snap student at UA? The most powerful quirk at UA? At least as far as I know because I'm not up to date with the manga. But as far as I'm aware, Todoroki has the most busted quirk. Like at UA Academy. Like it just don't make no sense how strong he is. I said it before. I'll say it again. If we don't get my Hero Academia characters in this game, it's gonna be a shame. Bars. Part two. You feel me? And I need Todoroki, because he's my favorite character, and he's got one of the illest quirks. 
Up next to number seven, we have Jotaro Kujo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes, your boy is a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for those of you who did not know. Now, I have not read any of the manga, but I have seen all four parts of the anime that have come out thus far. And by the way, I'm sure y'all already know, but part five has been announced and it's coming out later this year. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. But back to this list, back to the discussion, because I can go on a whole other tangent about JoJo's and part five and so on and so forth. But Jotaro Kujo, for those of you who don't know, he was actually supposed to be in the first J-Stars game. For whatever reason, he wasn't. I don't remember the exact reasoning behind it, but I believe they actually found files for him in the game alongside another character who I'm probably going to mention later on down the line in this list. And you may or may not already know who that is, but if you know me, you know he had to be mentioned on this list at some point or other. But yeah, Jotaro Kujo was robbed of his spot. We got Joseph, I believe, and we got Jonathan as well in J-Stars. But like, part one fucking sucks. Joseph's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like Jonathan. And Joseph is, I mean, uh, Jotaro is easily the coolest out of the three to me. And he's the one that I think would have been the most fun and the most iconic because I think most people have seen or, 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 fa or favor part three over the first two parts. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's just me from the outside looking in. Uh, but yeah, Jotaro Kujo, I think it's a shame that he got scrapped from the original game. Put him in this one. Put him in this one. Up next on the list, we got the young god, Yami Yugi. Now, I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but there was actually a game entitled, I want to say it was Jump Ultimate All-Stars that released back in like 2006 on the 3DS. I don't think that game ever got localized. I think it was a Japanese release only. But in that game, it was very similar to like J-Stars where you have all these different anime characters coming together in the same game and you fight it out with each other. But there was way more representation in that, in that game than it was in J-Stars. And among the characters that made it in that game were Yami Yugi. Or was Yami Yugi? I don't know the proper grammar there. Get off me. This is an English class. But yeah, Yami Yugi was actually a playable character in that game. And it would be so sick to see him in Jump Force have him pulling out cards, summoning monsters to do his bidding. Like, that shit would be fire. So, I definitely want to see Yami Yugi in this game. It was disappointing that he wasn't in J-Stars because I think the way that you can implement him could be so so unique and so different from the, from the way every other character would probably play in a game like this because he doesn't fight himself. He has to summon his, you know, his monsters from his decks to fight for him. Yeah, yeah, I just think it'd be really, really cool to see. Up next at number five, we have Hisoka. No, 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 wait, 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 I know, I know, I know. Hisoka was in the last game, so why wouldn't he be in this game? Listen, listen, listen. Hisoka being a support-only character was bullshit. I don't, I don't like support-only characters in any, in any game. If, if a character is in a game, I want to be able to play as them. I, Storm did that same bullshit and it pissed me off. And, and J Stars did it with you had certain characters that were support only. And to an extent, I understand because, you know, certain characters don't really fight per se. Like, I think they had Kuroko and J Stars. It's like, what the fuck is Kuroko going to do? Throw a basketball at you? Yeah, I, okay. I, I kind of understand why he was support only. But Hisoka? You're going to put Hisoka support only? Hisoka's not playable? Nah, fuck out of here. Give me Hisoka. Of course, like, I, there's no doubt in my mind we're going to have Hunter Hunter characters in this game, right? Like, sh obviously, surely, right? Uh, Gon and Killer are going to make their way back to the game. I, I think that's a given. With that said, Hisoka needs to be playable this time around. If he doesn't, I'm going to fight. Hands will be thrown. You will feel the wrath of my Nen Bondi. Coming in at number four on my list is just, honestly, <laughs> me being a fanboy, because it's not going to happen. I, I, I don't think we're going to get many more Dragon Ball characters that would have already been shown, but... Number four on my list is Future Trunks because he's my favorite character in Dragon Ball, so I just want him in the game, man. He's got a sword and a cool jacket and some really cool boots. Put him in the game, please. It's not going to happen, is it? But no, if I could, I would definitely put him in the game. I'm not sure if we're going to see many more characters uh, for the series that have already been shown. Like, you know, I don't know if there's going to be more One Piece characters than, than Luffy and Zoro. I don't know if there's going to be more Naruto characters than just Naruto and Sasuke. I don't know if there's going to be more Dragon Ball characters than just Frieza, Goku, and, and, and Vegeta or, or whatever. Wait, Vegeta wasn't even in... Vegeta wasn't even in the, the E3 build now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. There's no way they would leave Vegeta out of this game, right? There's the, I, don't, I don't think that's possible that they would leave Vegeta. So I think with that being said, because, yeah, no, two characters for the top, for the big three. Well, not the, the big three because Bleach is in there. But, like, for Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto, they only get two characters each. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't th Unless they're including as many series as possible. And then they, like, every no, because Bleach got three characters. There's no way they give Bleach three and they give everyone else two. Huh. So, yeah, there's definitely, th there's got to be more characters for Dragon Ball one Piece and, and Naruto that are going to make it into this game. So with that said, there is hope for Future Trunks after all. I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but it, there, there's a small chance. There's a small possibility of it happening. Honestly, I didn't consider that. I could have changed my list a little bit because I, I didn't think about, huh. Hmm. Put Future Trunks in the game. I'll be happy. All right, cool. Bet. Moving on. Coming in at number three on my list, we have Kurama. Yoko Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. Again, just like with Hunter x Hunter, no doubt to my mind that Yu Hakusho will make its return to being one of the series that's represented in this game. I fully expect to see Hiei and Yusuke this time around once more, but 
We ain't even get Kurama so much as a support character in J Stars. What? Who? Who decided that was okay? Who? What? No. What? Who decided it was okay to leave Kurama out of the roster for J Stars? I want to know. Send me the address because they got to square up. No, 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 no. That was hella bugging. It was hella tripping, tripping. Put Kurama in the game. All will be forgiven. All will be okay. Karama is my favorite character in Yu Hakusho. I know a lot of people agree. I do think, um, you know, given the between the three, uh, Hiei, Yusuke, and Karama, it can go either which way, which one's the most popular. I feel like I tend to see more Hiei fans, so I guess it makes sense that Hiei got in and Karama didn't to an extent. But still, to me, it was like a slap in the face. Like, how dare you not put Karama in? Not even as support. And granted, I don't want to see him as support only, but like, not even as support. Like, he got, he got no, 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 no PT, no playtime, no minutes. That's fucked up, man. Y'all wild. Put Karama in the game this time, or there will be hell to pay. Now, these next two characters are characters that, if I could have literally anyone, anyone from any anime, any manga in this game, or who, well, at least in, in regards to Shonen Jump, right? If I could have any two Shonen Jump characters in this game, these are the two characters that I want more than anyone else. Now, the issue with that is, is that they're, they're, they're no longer Shonen Jump characters. Kodansha owns the, the rights to these characters now, and um, that may give it away, but if, if you know me well enough, you probably knew who I was going to say next anyway, but how and Yo Asakura from Shaman King. If I could have any two characters from a Shonen Jump series in this game, they are who I would want most. Yo Asakura is one of my favorite characters in all the anime. He's probably my, fa my favorite main character in any series ever. He's a character that I feel like I've related to the most in any anime or manga. Shaman King is one of my favorite series. It's one of my favorite manga. I absolutely love everything about that series. And I, I would kill. I would kill to have him in this game. And the thing that breaks my heart the most about Yo not being in the previous game, because Yo Asakura was not in Jade Stars like he should have been. The thing that breaks my heart the most about that is that he was going to be. His files were there. They were there, just like Jotaro. Yo was supposed to be in that game. He was in Jump Ultimate All-Stars, or Jump Ultimate Stars. Why didn't they put him in J-Stars? If he's not in Jump Force, which he's probably not gonna be, I'm gonna be a very sad Lotus, I'll have you know. And the same goes for Hal. Um, I don't remember if Hal was in Jump Ultimate Stars or not. I've never played the game personally. I've just seen gameplay up and talks about it on the internet. Um, but yeah, if I could have any two characters, it would be those two. But since Kodansha owns Shaman King now, since they have the trademark for the series, and Yo and, and Hao probably aren't considered Shonen Jump characters anymore, and they probably can't put them in their game. I have two other alternates, I suppose, for characters that I would actually pretty uh I'd actually be pretty excited to see in this game. Boruto Uzumaki <laughs> and Sardo Chiha. Now listen, listen, listen. I know not everyone's gonna agree with those two picks, but listen, man. If I can't have Yo and I can't have Hao, let me get something, man. I personally am a fan of Bored, so I know not everyone is. I know a lot of people think the series is a cash grab, they think it's whack, they think this and this and that. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, just like I'm entitled to thinking that these two characters are really cool and a lot of fun, and I really like their, their designs and everything about them, honestly. I think Boruto is, like, just a way better version of Naruto. I mean, Boruto, the character, like, his, his, I think Boruto is a way better version of his father, and I think Sarda has a lot of potential as a character, and I think she's really, really interesting, and I'm, an, I'm a fanboy for all the Uchiha's, so, like, yeah. Put Boruto and Sarada in the game. I, I think that's fair. They're they're in Shonen Jump, and Boruto is, I mean, obviously one of the the most popular and successful series out there right now. Because I mean, it's it's the it's the successor to Naruto, so just by default, it's bigger than a lot of titles that are currently out there. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 here I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But that's it. That has been my top ten. Although I technically gave you twelve characters, but obviously there was a reason for that. But uh, yeah, if I could have ten characters in, in uh, well, I guess twelve. It, it, you, you get the point. If I could have these characters in the game, I'd be one very, very happy anime fan. But that has been my list. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What characters do you personally want to see in Jump Force? Uh, I've, I've said my piece. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit this video with like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all the awesome content that I bring you. And with all that being said, we're going to fall off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you swim the bat. Later.